So I'm going to do a note taking in medical school and what I did to take my notes in med school. And I personally think I'm a good candidate for this because I kid you not, I have done a lot, okay? I did um, paper note taking and then I've tried two apps and I'm not sponsored by any of them in this video so i just wanted to talk to, talk to students a little bit more um and then show them uh on the notes that i the way i took my notes so like i said i did paper note taking and i'll show you guys that and then i also did one note um i believe i did one note my first and my second semester and then last semester my third semester i did um notability I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt because I should have tried started notability notability a long time ago, but I didn't. But it's okay. So I'll talk. I'll show you guys, and then I'll talk more about the pros and cons of each um, each of the the note taking methods that I did and what I believe I will be using going further on in my path. So let me show you guys what I did. Okay, guys, here's my folder that I used for uh, first and second semester of medical school. So I just put each um, pocket folder as uh, half classes. So I'll show you a, a closer look at the notes, but each pocket folder. So this one was actually second semester for cardio of cardiophysiology, and this one was first semester for, um, I think this was like musculoskeletal system or something, physio, or physio for musculoskeletal, and so on and so forth. So I just put them together and put them in uh, pocket, pocket uh, sheet protectors and put them in a binder. So every time I was studying, I would grab one I would grab my folder and then look up where I need to look, uh, where I need to go to look at my notes. So that's what I did for first and second trimester uh, semester. And then here are the notes up close. So I don't know if you guys have heard of like the, um, crap, I can't think of the name right now, but it's kind of like a note taking method where for every hour, of a lecture you you use one side one page so one one page is for every hour so okay guys i got i had another call again i need to put my phone on do not disturb so i apologize so like i was saying i don't know where i left off but um for every one hour of lecture i have this much space so it keeps you Focus on the bigger picture, and then you can do detailed stuff afterwards. So, for example, this is a lecture about the skin that we had. So I put the title in the corner, and then I put... I don't know which module this was under. Can't remember. But anyways, I think it must have been like... Nope, I don't know. But so this is like the 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 purple... So the, the, the corner always has the title... And I'll show you more or the either at the corner or at the top somewhere at the top I always put the title of the lecture and then the purple are like the big subheadings for everything and then whatever we whenever we get like a um let's say like this is a pathology so when every time we get like a illness pathology something Something that's out of the ordinary, I write that in red. Why? Because you're most likely to either A, be asked about this on the exam, or B, see it again in another module later on. So you, if you know it, or if you can get your mind used to seeing it early, you'll be better off. So that's what I did for note taking. And I did that, like I said, first and second semester. This one is for abdominal wall. This is anatomy. Anatomy is more picture based, but you can still write things down. Like this is the layers, the different layers of your, your recta sheet. So if you follow it, it starts from the big and then it gets really, really small. 
So I did that for that. And it helps you stay focused too because when you when you I guess I'll just do the pros the pros and cons or whatever and during as I'm going along. But when you're doing this, you have to pause your lectures a lot. So it does take time. When I first started out, I kid you not, it probably took me like three hours to do it. Like I kid you not, three to four hours to do one lecture, and I was kind of like, I don't have time, and da, da 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 but you get better at it, and the girl who started doing this, she told me you would get better at it, and I didn't believe her, so, but either way, I think now I can do, I can do one of these things in like an hour and a half, an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how intense that lecture is, but I can, most of the time I can do it within an hour and a half. But I don't want to just focus on doing it. Some people will just do it and then learn from it. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I like do it and then try to really learn it as I'm going going through it. So that might take longer if I decide to do it like that. And then for something like bio biochemistry, like I said, I always put the title here. I put the title in the middle. So this was doing human lymph module. It's It was on uh, blood clotting. Um, and like I said, I have my titles all in blue and then I use a black pen. I really liked doing this and I kept everything on one page. And then when we came to like pathways, I would just either do it there or I would flip it over and do the pathways on the back if I need like a bigger picture because I'm not trying to squish and uh, like uh, put everything in one little corner. That's not the point. The point is you have to write it down. So like I said, I put all the, all everything that's in red means a pathology, like means if something could go wrong, where it would go wrong. Oh, that's hep C over there. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Anyways. Um, yeah, like I said, we learned all of this, our first semester foundations, they just throw everything at you. So that's, that's pretty much what I did for note taking. If you have any questions on note taking, please, 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 um, ask me in the comments and stuff like that. Uh, the con about this is it takes a while. That's the only con. And you might feel like you're getting writer's cramp or carpal tunnel, carpal tunnel or something, but um, it's really worth it, I would say, because it helps you slow down and it helps you focus on um, the lectures. You're not just watching a lecture and just saying, oh, okay, 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 and then moving on. Oh, yeah, I get it, get it, get it, yeah. When you write it down, it sticks better. Um, that would be the pro. And then the con is, the only con is it takes time, and then sometimes you might not have printer paper or the pen goes out, you know, stuff like that, but you can always get more pens and people might think you're crazy when you have all the pens laid out and stuff, but it, it, it'll it help you in the long run. And then another pro is like, if you're a visual learner too, you can be like, okay, I know where it is. A lot of times I'm like, okay, I know I have that written in my notes somewhere. So if somebody, if my, my classmates and I are talking about something and they say something that I don't think I wrote, I will go back to my notes. I know you will know where you put it. So don't, don't say, oh, I'm going to have so much that I'm not going to know. No, no, no. You'll know where you, you, you've put it. So then, um, I go back to my notes and I'll look and in case, and then I'll be like, no, it's this, 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 or it might be something that I don't have. Then I'll add it. Or if I'm doing like the, the questions for the lecture and I don't have it in my notes, I will add it in my notes. So I do that. I didn't do it third semester a lot because it took too much time. I wasn't feeling good. So I needed to, I kind of wish I did though, because it would have helped me a lot more with my grades and stuff, but you know, you live and you learn. So that's that method. Okay, one thing I forgot to say is that, so the price, okay, we're all med students. We're balling on a budget and this was free. The note taking on my on, on a piece of paper was free because I just used the printing paper from school, which I pay for. I pay for four, four, I think we get like 400 per semester or something like that, which because I didn't print, I still needed my paper. So I just got that from the printing put paper place 
on campus and I would have enough for, to last me like maybe a week or two and then um, write on it. And the pens that I used on here, you know, Amazon pens for like less than five bucks, you know, you can get fancy with it if you want to, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Um, I did kind of get fancy actually, I shouldn't say that. I got, I bought the, the, um, dang it, I forgot those nice pens. I forgot what they're called. But anyways, I bought them. I bought some of them for like seven, six dollars. They're like nine bucks sometimes at Walmart. And, but the, the ink lasts longer than the ones on uh, Amazon. So, and I was very particular about the size of the pen. So I wouldn't get any larger than 0.7. But my go-to was definitely 0.5. And then I would do this with it. And so thank you for watching. Uh, comment and subscribe and share. And let me know if you have any questions. Bye.